Courtney Duca from One and Three here, coming to you from the first ever Vision Festival. It's an all ages, all day local lineup here at Jive, featuring the likes of the Dunes, Glass Skies, and Spark Spitter. We've got Jonty here who has organised Vision First. Jonty, can you give us a quick rundown on what Vision Fest is? Vision Fest is just basically like all my favourite bands from Adelaide. They're all kind of just really tripped out and psychedelic and stuff, so it's a really good mix. Like, Glass Guys are just like the heavy psych industrial, like riff lords, mad solos, like crazy soundscapes. The dunes are like very droney and slow. It's all like primordial and like birthy and stuff. And then Archers are kind of like a combination of the Killers and Muse, but they just have like this crazy fucking stage presence. And then Battle Hounds, I've never seen before, but I like their singles, so <laughs> <laughs> I've put them on the show. They're um, tasty. West Ham are always a fucking blast. I mean, most people know what they're about. Um, and then we have Cobra, my band. We just want to fucking play some party jams. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Sparks Bitter, like, Completely phenomenal band, uh, very good compositionists, and um, <laughs> yeah, Slick Arnold, they're always really funked out and fun and fast. Druid Fluids are gonna go really far, like super young, they're just like all about the music. Um, Attila and My Honey, they're like a bit of like a, an oddball band, like it's really different, that's for sure. So it's a very exciting lineup. <laughs> We're running on a bit of a visions theme and we want to know what you think Adelaide's vision of the, their local music scene is going to be. Where's it heading? What's happening? Everyone in white floor length dresses skipping through like fields of sunflowers. The vision? Yep. Uh, I think it should be just a constantly sort of growing scene and a supportive scene, which it is and it's getting better. Um, no, I think everyone knows what should happen, but I think the stigma of being an Adelaide band needs to go because there are some good bands. Yeah. Because there are shit bands everywhere. Yeah. I reckon the, the psychedelic scene's starting to progress heaps that we've noticed due to Tame Impala probably. But yeah, yeah I know. Like, Adelaide's turning into a pretty cool place for music, I reckon. It's getting pretty cool with Adelaide getting a lot of recognition, if that makes sense, with TK and Baddies and even Horror My Friend signing to. Poison City. Poison City, so good. Oh, that's pretty sick. I don't know, it's kind of cool and stuff like this and Stonecutters, Day of Clarity. There's a lot of cool things coming up, people having initiative to, to put on events. Basically, I think the future is just like kind of like a big sound format. We saw it with the Day of Clarity and that's just going to catch on and like take off and get bigger. Adelaide is perfect for it. It's like Fortitude Valley, but like an open world roaming RPG, so. <laughs> um, one of the other great things about the scene uh, here in Adelaide is, is the amount of support that we get. I think it's just as many people playing in as many different bands and as many different styles as possible. It's like the way that bands kind of work together with, with each other, it seems like if Adelaide's a bit disconnected from the, you know, like maybe like the Sydney media center, um, then we kind of have to do everything ourselves. The stuff in Adelaide that's working and it's really good, so just give them money, <laughs> you know what I mean? Give them more money, because they would do good things with it. So you think yeah. stick to more what's already happening rather than trying yeah. to pick up new ideas? Like, like new ideas that have worked in Melbourne because there's some corporate like, mm. thing. Some sort that, of funding. Yeah, it's just like, and it's like, you know, and it looks better on paper or whatever. Mm. Just be on the ground looking at what's working, because there's a bunch of things that are really cool that are working. So give them money. My vision for the Adelaide music scene is that um, by the year 2020, there's going to be about three times more bands, um, half the quality, but West Ham will still be around and we'll be launching our second album. <laughs> second album? Literally. <laughs> Actually, every, every other band in Adelaide will have joined West Ham. <laughs> Purple 
question. What sort of food would match listening to your music? Hummus? Uh, hummus. Yeah, I would have to say hummus <laughs> has been uh, the dip that's brought us together. <laughs> Sour straps. <laughs> oh, the karate, karate belts. Karate belts. So I'm being your chips. Yanni, Yanni Zeros. It's absolutely mushroom. It's Kazo. It's definitely Kazo. We'll play for chips. <laughs> Before, before the gig, I was talking us about being like a degustation where you get... Well, that was about the whole festival. <laughs> but, like, getting a little bit of, bit of a taste of everything. And you're the tasty hummus. Yeah, we're the tasty the hummus. We're, the <laughs> <laughs> we're like the antipasto. <laughs> Aperitif. There's a mutual uh, love and respect uh, that we all share for ramen. <laughs> I think it's, it's a bit of everything. It's spicy... You got lots of noodles in there. Lots of noodles in our music, obviously. I was saying before, how is it not pickled octopus? Like that's <laughs> burritos. <laughs> a tuduken. Do you have a favourite place to get burritos? There's a really good place just down from my house. Is there? Yeah, but I'm not telling you where. Oh what? And there's this really, up. there's this really fat Indian dude that works there, and if he makes your burrito, it's fucking sweet because he knows what's up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. He fucking knows what a good burrito is. So somewhere in Adelaide, there is a delicious place that makes burritos by a fat Indian dude, and we need to know And he's about the it. fucking man. <laughs> and like, because if I walk in there, like, you know, I like burritos, obviously. And he's like, I'm like, hook me up, hook that shit up. <laughs> you know? Um, a tadakin is a turkey stuffed with a chicken, stuffed with a spatchcock, and with bacon over the top of it. No. <laughs> Uh, probably like rainbow ice cream. Paddle it's pump? pretty simple, but it's got all the colours there. <laughs> <laughs> bit melted though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some like a bit slippery, a bit wet. Piece of mitt worth. Something that's 20 <laughs> <laughs> Something that's 20 years too late. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Off beer. Off beer. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, how are you Ruin the video, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching you. Bullet, a steak in a Nutribullet. <laughs> a T-bone in a Nutribullet with the bone. <laughs> Tap out.